So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Nico. Hey, Kate. Get your f***ing hands off my f***ing sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone, and the other's casual sex. <laughs> and I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a f***ing whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep, fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly, Robin <laughs> Hood. Who are you going to rob? The f mafia, yeah. boy. <laughs> hmm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. <laughs> and the money is good, very good indeed. So you in, big guy? Or we're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean. Right, good. all right, right. all right. Let's yeah, go. let's do this. A mafia controlled waste management plant? You f guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos a type of cheese. Pegarinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's f true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know that Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary's story so boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Gordon, I'll come back there and kick your ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader, my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you, ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Stand over, let me see that ass, stupid mama. You'll never touch my ass, fucker. Here we are, boys. Moment of truth. boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too far, Nico.
boys, let's go inside and find this money. Hey, Becky! Just out there, I'll race you. Can you drive a boat? You got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. So, I'll give it a try. That was beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be static. Providing the enchiladas don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't f worry about it. So this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you, though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my case. I'll think about the money, then. What a trooper. Did it, top of the world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending it in any Italian restaurants. I'll see you soon, Becky. Nico, shit is getting up. I need to see you at my crib. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no fish. Wants to shut down the site and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers who died in an accident. Can't you step on me. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp. 
for nothing. What are you talking about, man? I'm saying, would you take my sister Katie out for a drink or something? Listen, she don't get out much, and she sure as hell don't go on dates. We're starting to worry. She likes you, just as friends. I'm gonna send you a number. I'll give her a call, man, but uh, I don't think she'll want to see me. Trust me, she will. Call her, man. <laughs> Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Packy. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay, that could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends. But sure, pick me up in the next hour. See you then. or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. Good night, Nico Bellic. Oh, this traffic is terrible. Nikki, this is Ray Pacino, the man keeping your Irish friends in liquor. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Nikki. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. Are you trying to get us both killed, you f***ing asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? Pays you to do a man's job, you amateur, you f***ing boy. No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk, on account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Now, whoa, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. 
One more. That guy's a low life. He means nothing. If there is a God and he loves us, if there is, he'd want to dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Keith, call me when it's done. I know what you mean. My face has gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper. The all-new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six-pound burger you can't live without. Shaniqua, baby! Look, girl. Not right now, man. Maybe we'll go for a chopper ride some other time. Sure thing, Nico. Hit me up soon, though. What's up, money? Hey. Man. Business is tough. I ain't a cold person. 
I mean, I am cold, but... What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I gotta have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, man. The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, he wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me was too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Ah. Uh, I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now I ain't scared of no one. But if says he's gonna kill me, and mother gonna die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. Hey, Kate, you wanna hang out sometime? Yeah. How about now? I'm bored. See you soon. Oh, look at this thing! Get me with the me. Come on, you! Let's go! It's much better. Top, no nice way to say this. It's not really working. I'm not really feeling the pants. What were you thinking with the shoes, Nico? I enjoyed that bar. It was okay. Shit! 
I'm drunk. Don't worry. No. Why would I worry? Why would I worry? I'd have crazy out drinking with a killer and with his family so f***ed up, I don't even want to talk about it. Why would I worry? What in God's name have I got to worry about? I'm just neurotic, aren't I? Really self-indulgent, really idiotic, pathetic. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me? Probably. You psycho. You crazy. Shut up, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Where to, my man? I want to go to Savannah Avenue. No problem. I will get you there, buddy. This is as far as I can go, my friend. Nico, man, I'm going crazy. Since I got out, things just don't make no sense. Have things ever made sense? They made sense inside. Three meals a day, time in the yard, lockdown a day. Things out here is mad crazy. Tell me about it. Want to down low? I think Playboy wants me dead. Might just let him do put a cap in my dome. End it all. That's what you want? Seriously? Nah. Shit. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need you to get him for me. I can't do it myself. He was my boy back in the day. That's something I won't be able to forget. You seem like you got my back, Nico. Help me out on this one, dog. I'll stick by you till the end. Take him out for me. That's a pretty heavy request, Dwayne. Playboy was your best friend. And he's always been straight with me, more or less. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> 